Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the CEO of PureStake. We're building Moonbeam, which is a smart contract parachain with Ethereum compatibility. And you know, before I, I go into details about you know the features or you know any of the um, you know the actual work we're doing on Moonbeam, I wanted to just spend a minute and um, tell you a little bit about you know who we are uh, and what you know our vision is and what our mission is. You know, kind of why it is that we uh, that we felt the need to start Moonbeam in the first place. And um, you know, from a vision perspective, you know, we really believe that we're headed into an increasingly multi-chain future. Uh, you know, technologies like, like Substrate make it quite a bit easier to build your own blockchain. But in this multi-chain future, you know, it's really cross-chain interoperability is going to be one of the key challenges. And you know, that's that realization is what even led us to Polkadot in the first place. You know, we've been working you know, in the Polkadot ecosystem for you know about a year and a half now. And so the you know we're really drawn to the way Polkadot. Um, you know, kind of addresses you know cross-chain interoperability like in the design of the system itself. So what we see our mission as is, you know, we want to really make it easy for projects, for especially existing projects, but also new projects, to pursue multi-chain deployment strategies. Right. So, um, you know, our belief is that this kind of older idea of I have one app and it's on one chain is going to give way to you know, apps that are deployed uh, in multiple places, right, on, on multiple chains. And um, we want to we want to really make that scenario as easy as possible. And, you know, just a little bit about, you know, us ourselves as a team, uh, you know, we have quite a bit of experience building, you know, software and cloud technology companies in the regular Web2 space. And so we're bringing that experience with us, um, you know, in building uh, in building Moonbeam. So, you know, the first question, you know, that you may ask is, you know, why is it that a multi-chain strategy makes sense? And, um, you know, we've been talking to quite a number of, of projects, uh, primarily Ethereum-based projects, existing projects, you know, all about this question and, and talking to them about their multi-chain strategy. And I can tell you that, you know, there is uh, quite a bit of interest, um, you know, these days on pursuing a multi-chain strategy. I think that, um, you know, people are understanding that, you know, just having a single deployment, you know, on Ethereum may not make uh, the most sense. Um, and so, you know, we've distilled out a few ideas from all of these conversations that we've had with existing projects. You know, one important um, takeaway is that there is a lost market opportunity if you're just deployed to Ethereum. Um, so we've heard this from a number of different projects that, you know, given you know, the, you know, there's been, you know, some moments of pretty high gas fees uh, lately. And, you know, given the, you know, what the cost, what the ga those gas fees look like these days, you know, there's simply just some set of users and some set of use cases that can't be addressed on Ethereum layer one. Um, so, you know, being able to address those users and use cases, you know, represents, uh, you know, a lost opportunity today if you're just deployed to Ethereum layer one. And so that's one motivation for, you know, pursuing a multi-chain strategy uh, where you could address those users and use cases. But I think combined with that, you know, there is also this idea of expanding your market, you know, right? So expanding out to new ecosystems, especially new growing ecosystems, and you're know, getting at new users, right? To expand uh, the number of users. Uh, for projects in the DeFi space, you know, they're always interested in expanding their total value locked, right? Is kind of one of the things that, uh, you know, that is driving them. So I think there is always this desire to expand to new markets and that's, uh, you know, that's another motivation. Um, in the longer term, you know, our belief is that, you know, pursuing a multi-chain strategy will result in a better user experience because, um, you know, there'll be uh, the opportunity to use the specialized functionality from chains that have been optimized for particular purposes. And uh, that's going to be much more efficient and result in, you know, a better user experience. Um, so those are, those are some of the reasons why, you know, a multi-chain strategy makes sense from our perspective. Now, the question, of course, is how does Moonbeam help with these uh, multi-chain de uh, multi deployments? And you know, I already mentioned that you know, Polkadot really is a great fit for, uh, for this kind of concept uh, because it has interoperability built in you know, at the base layer to its design. And that was one of the original reasons we were drawn to it. What we're striving to be is really like the easiest entry point on Polkadot 
uh, for you know existing and new projects. Um, so you know we want if we've done our job well, you know we want to make it extremely easy for existing and new projects to deploy applications to uh, Polkadot. Part of uh, you know the feature work we've done is that we've implemented you know a very rich set and a deep set of Ethereum compatibility features. Uh, that's important because you know most of the existing applications that are deployed today that have uh, that have users are on Ethereum. Uh, so you know we're striving to you know make the env our environment on Moonbeam you know uh, as a compatible as we can with the existing uh, you know Ethereum uh, layer one. And for projects that want to you know deploy to Polkadot, you know we re really want to minimize any effort you know minimize the engineering effort required with that, so they could use you know existing code base, existing smart contracts, existing front-end DAP code, uh, and, uh, you know, with minimal to no changes, uh, deploy it to Moonbeam and, and thus, ha you know, and get, uh, thus get to a Polkadot-based deployment. And in some ways, you know, they're kind of leveraging, in doing so, they're leveraging, you know, kind of work we've done at these lower infrastructure layers to, uh, you know, use Substrate to implement, you know, this kind of base infrastructure. So, uh, you know, these, uh, the features I mentioned, you know, a collator network, um, you know, the, a parachain uh, slot uh, itself. So these are all things that, you know, the, these projects will kind of like outsource to us in a way. And um, so just to dig in a little bit further uh, on how these Ethereum compatibility features work, you know, we have a series of, of modules that we've implemented in our substrate based chain, or the, which will be a parachain. And um, you know, these modules uh, all provide important functions to, you know, create this this uh, Ethereum compatible environment. So starting from the left, um, you know, we have an implementation of the Web3 RPC. So that's, you know, how existing tools and applications interact with Ethereum today is through the Web3 RPC. So we have uh, our own implementation of this uh, that, um, you know, allows existing tools and applications to connect to Moonbeam and they think they're connected to just yet another Ethereum uh, network. You know, in the middle of these, this Ethereum module, you know, this really provides a lot of the you know, emulation of, you know, how Ethereum works. So that includes uh, things like blocks, receipts, logs, um, you know, being able to subscribe, uh, you know, for log events. Um, you know, these are all things that um, uh, are implemented in this Ethereum module. And then, you know, uh, last but not least, there is um, a full EVM impl implementation. So the EVM, of course, is the kind of the state transition engine on Ethereum uh, that's used by smart contracts. So um, Moonbeam has a, a full EVM implementation um, that is, you know, 100% compatible with um, you know, the EVM that uh, lives on uh, Ethereum. So really from a feature perspective, from an accounts perspective, from even the, the keys that are being used to, you know, to sign transactions, um, you know, we've, um, you know, strived for, you know, compatibility, you know, with the existing Ethereum, uh, you know, Ethereum L1. And that's, uh, you know, what makes it easy for existing you know, projects to uh, deploy onto Moonbeam, um, you know, with minimal changes. So just to kind of pull it together into a scenario, you know, what you see here on the left is, this is, you know, an existing installation of MetaMask. Uh, it's being reconfigured, um, uh, you know, a new network is being added, uh, which basically points MetaMask to a Moonbeam based node. And MetaMask, again, you know, will work just uh, as you expect it to because it's speaking uh, to the Web3 RPC or the API on the Moonbeam node. And MetaMask thinks it's connected to an Ethereum-based network. Um, so you kind of reconfigure MetaMask. It works as you expect. In the middle uh, is uh, the Remix IDE is being shown. Uh, for those of you not familiar, Remix is um, a very popular uh, development tool for creating smart contracts and deploying them to Ethereum. So much like MetaMask, Remix can be pointed uh, at a Moonbeam-based node, and um, you can deploy some more contracts from Remix. And um, you know, on the on the right, you can see that uh, this is basically just an example of a transaction, you know, happening uh, from uh, MetaMask against uh, you know against a Moonbeam-based node uh, using a deployed smart contract. Uh, so that's uh, you know all of these tools work uh, you know as you'd expect. You know, other kinds of integrations on, on Moonbeam, I'll mention just a, a few. Um, so, you know, part of the goal is we want to, you know, build these integrations into Moonbeam and then offer them as kind of features up to developers that are deploying onto Moonbeam. 
Uh, so we're again you know, trying to take some of the, you know, hide some of the complexity, um, you know, that's down at the substrate and runtime layer, and you know, kind of hide that away from developers so they don't need to worry about it. Uh, so some of the native integrations, um, you know, these would be integrations with things like the Kusama and Polkadot relay chains or other parachains, you know, on those networks as, as parachains start to get deployed. Um, you know, we'll be building, uh, you know, native integrations and, um, you know, allowing developers to use standard Ethereum type approaches such as ERC-20 uh, to interact, you know, with, um, uh, you know, with other chains, uh, with or components from other chains. Uh, there are also bridged integrations, so uh, we will have some uh, bridges directly landing on Moonbeam. Um, in addition to, there are, are also there are also parachain-based, uh, you know, bridging efforts uh, underway, in particular for Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, and so, you know, all of these bridge integrations are a way to you know integrate with chains that are not part of the Polkadot uh, network or you know use a different uh, you know different technology stack. And um, you know, there's quite a number of, of these bridge integrations which will also exist, uh, which again, um, you know, will allow developers to work with uh, other chains um, while kind of hiding the complexity around uh, doing so away from uh, away from the developer. And I mentioned already on the on the technology integration side, I mentioned tools, but I would also mention that there are uh, infrastructure kind of elements as well here. Um, for a number of the projects we're working with, you know, they have. Uh, specific requirements uh, that have been driving our integration agenda. Um, so, for example, um, you know, one of the projects we're working with uh, has a requirement for Chainlink-based data feeds. So, uh, we uh, are working on an integration with Chainlink to provide that on Moonbeam. Um, a number of other projects we're working with uh, have uh, subgraphs based on the graph. Uh, these are existing Ethereum-based projects. So, um, you know, we are also working on an integration with uh, the graph. And there's going to be a number of other integrations, um, you know, that are driven in this practical way uh, by projects that we're working with, uh, that um, uh, that will be landing on on Moonbeam. The good news around all of these is that, you know, given our Ethereum compatibility features, um, you know, a lot of times the same, you know, kind of the, the same um, uh, code that kind of connects these infrastructure components to Ethereum can be used to connect to Moonbeam. Uh, so uh, you know, that's obviously a good part of the story as well. So where are we as a project? Um, right now, uh, we are under active development. Uh, you know, in Q3, we really launched our, our testnet. We've been iterating on that testnet, adding new features, and um, you know, we're pretty close at this point to uh, you know uh, completing all of the Ethereum compatibility uh, features that we had planned. And um, you know, really, we're working now on making sure that we're in a state of readiness for our parachain to launch. Um, uh, you know, we expect um, that, uh, you know, parachains will start to go live, um, you know, later on in Q4. Um, you know, we uh, want to be ready to deploy as a parachain as that happens. Uh, you know, we do plan to deploy to uh, Kusama first. Uh, we're following uh, a bit of the, the parity model where, you know, we will be deploying uh, new code to a, our Kusama net deployment first. We'll have two deployments, one on Kusama, one on Polkadot. So we deploy code to Kusama first. Uh, you know, we let it, um, you know, kind of prove itself there. Uh, and once it's proven itself there, then and only then do we, you know, update, you know, uh, our Polkadot-based deployment. So, you know, the deployment on Polkadot is kind of trailing behind in terms of features, but it features, it has kind of more stability uh, as a result. Um, so, uh, you know, this is kind of our, our deployment plan uh, as we, um, you know, kind of finish out this year and head into early next year. And, um, you know, I think, uh, in, in, you know, in above and beyond the, you know, technology, the tools and kind of some of the infrastructural kind of elements I spoke about, you know, the thing I'm most excited by is the uh, project traction that we're seeing uh, in terms of uh, projects that want to deploy to Moonbeam. Uh, we have a first couple that we've announced recently. Uh, we have, uh, you know, another uh, set of projects which we'll be announcing uh, shortly. Um, and, um, you know, above and beyond those, you know, there's a good about 50 other projects at this point that we're speaking with about uh, Moonbeam-based deployments. So uh, there is, again, you know, it's quite a bit of interest, um, you know, particularly from existing Ethereum projects to being able to uh, have a Polkadot-based deployment. Uh, but, you know, I think what's attractive is if there's kind of, if we can minimize, you know, uh, the change needed to achieve that deployment, you know, that's something that's of quite a bit of interest to, you know, a lot of these existing, uh, existing Ethereum-based projects. 
So, um, uh, so that's something that I'm pretty excited about. And uh, yeah, I think it's a good note to end on that, you know, uh, if you are such a project that's exploring a multi-chain strategy or wants to you know, kind of, um, you know, uh, explore what a Polkadot-based deployment would look like, or even if you're a new project that just wants to, an easy way to deploy to Polkadot, I think, uh, you know, Moonbeam could be a good fit. And we would love to uh, hear from you. I'd say that, you know, for the, we've been talking mostly to Ethereum-based projects, but, you know, really any um, project that is implemented using an Ethereum uh, like technology stack, you know, would be a con good candidate. Um, you know, even, you know, platform like Tron, um, you know, is using a largely Ethereum-based, uh, you know, technology stack uh, or compatible technology stack. So, um, uh, yeah, please reach out to us if there's, uh, you know, if you're interested in exploring what a Moonbeam-based deployment could look like. We'd love to talk to you. Um, I'll leave links here to, you know, our website, uh, our Twitter, and, and our Telegram. And uh, we hope to hear from you. Thanks so much.